Tell them you'll kiss his mom. I mean, you can tell him. You can go into game chat and tell him. Yo, do you want me to voice troll this guy? I will smack you in the face, stupid bird. <laughs> Don't talk to me like that. Life, life. No, 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 no. This guy is having problem. Extended warranty. Yes, he, he needs. He needs to have the mic because the mic it's not sounding good. Hey everyone, Thorin Smash here, and today we are getting a new trailer for Apex Legends, all revolving around Revenant and Loba, and it looks like it's going to be the stunning conclusion about what happens between these two characters, some deaths, some in-game missions, and a whole new LTM that is finally kicking off, even though we still have three strikes, which has been fantastic that it's been back. I've actually been really enjoying it. I don't know if you guys have, but it's been really fun. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and give out 45 bucks along with this video. All you guys got to do is like, comment, subscribe, and a winner will be announced in the video, not in the comment section, tomorrow's video. Now, without further ado, let's jump into today's topic all right so today is finally the day we're gonna get the new kill code trailer as confirmed in the actual trailer reveal this morning and this is gonna be the final kill code part four which is going to be what seems to be the conclusion of the loba revenant story this has been going on for a very long time obviously it started in season four when revenant was introduced and actually killed loba's family then loba was brought in in season five and then last season we got revenant reborn which was an entire rebuild of the character this kicked off the conclusion of this story with the kill code section he's got this new body and now loba is exacting her revenge now this in-game cinematic will be playing on december 5th which will be a fight between revenant and loba it's actually been put up online already you can actually see revenant in his prestige skin and then it's also got loba in her upcoming prestige skin as well it does look like loba takes him down a couple times and pretty much has him on the ropes but at the end revenant seems to pick up his skull and then walk away now we do know that there is this promo image that was put up by hypermist showing rev with two minions that are actually for the upcoming ltm and then he's also got his original brain in a jar slash head and i gotta be honest i actually am kind of on revenant's side he's just a hitman that was hired and his job was to kill loba's family i think loba took it like a little bit too personally but like bangalore is also an imc soldier and she's probably definitely killed people so i don't think revenant's actually that evil if we really think about it in fact loba in the kill code part three as you can see in this trailer right here pulled a weapon on valkyrie because she wanted to get revenant's head and torture her brain in a jar if you're really going to talk about evil it's probably the person that wants to do that now along with this new trailer coming in this morning we are going to be getting the uprising collection event which does drop next tuesday on december 5th which like i said does come with that loba prestige skin it will also come with a bunch of other legendary skins such as the one for valkyrie bangalore ballistic which is absolutely fire vantage bloodhound gibraltar and a couple of epic skins that will come from mad maggie seer and mirage along with weapon skins as well and banner frames this is going to feature that new rev army ltm which i'm really looking forward to in fact there is a hidden poi on storm point that some people have discovered and what you want to know about that is it's going to tie into the rev army is there are actually bodies of rev in there the event badge also ties directly into this as it does have loba on one side and revenant on the other side now we will likely get one last leaf spain mission as it was talked about by the developer if you don't remember this this came in the season before revenant reborn and it had loba breaking to the facility with valkyrie it was a single player mission you couldn't fight any enemies but it was actually really cool to run around this facility and finally get the kickoff of revenant reborn and i am excited if they do it again interestingly enough the developer at respawn writing this said relationships will be tested and shattered she says and maybe not everyone will make it out alive i mean it this time now we know that they're never gonna kill off revenant or loba because well they're selling prestige skins you can't sell 160 dollars skin to people and then delete the character from the game but there were voice lines found that does seem to indicate that octane's dad seems to be the one that will be passing away which makes sense because we might get some more octane lore in the future as he has files that say that he is going to be the next one that gets a prestige skin now with octane's dad out of the picture it should be actually pretty interesting because this means that bliss could actually come back octane's dad actually took over the games from bliss but oz actually found some game files for bliss payday ultimate now originally this actually turned into the crafting system if i'm remembering right but he has popped up a ton of times in the game files and personally this is one of the characters that i would most like to see come into the games in some capacity he's always been tested we've even seen titans with him and i just kind of want more titanfall connections especially after we got a lackluster titanfall connection this season as conduit just basically got rescued by titans it wasn't that great let's just be honest all this being said Said we are going to be getting the trailer this morning it should release in about three hours from the release of this video it might be a little bit after that then on this upcoming thursday we will be getting the trailer for that event which once again this is the first look at the dive trail for loba and i want to kind of point out for a second here this is an absolutely fantastic dive trail how can we just been getting rank rewards that are just like a static flame behind the character when they can pump out these amazing dive trails that will be attached to prestige skins i feel like we got a little ripped off for rank rewards the last 18 seasons where they kind of just copy and pasted stuff 
I don't know. I guess Respawn needs to make the money somehow. But I am looking forward to the conclusion of this storyline between Loba and Revenant. And I am very hopeful that we can hopefully move on to Crypto and Mila because I've really been waiting for the conclusion of that story. Plus, you know, I kind of want a Crypto Heirloom recolor. Am I the only one out there that wants that? Let me know down below. What do you guys think about the upcoming content for Revenant and Loba? Are you glad that this story is finally ending? Who do you guys hope they kind of tackle next in the lore? And are you looking forward to this upcoming collection event with the Loba Prestige skin? Don't forget to check out this channel right here by my editor, Novell, who does amazing Apex Legends videos and just other great gaming content in general. And until next time, Legends, keep slinging the Outlands. I'll see you out there.